Hello you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Queen Toss Crime and I am back with another video. So recently there's been a sort of like, you know, a two week ago update. Um, I'm going to show y'all a clip that was uploaded two weeks ago and another clip that was uploaded a month ago to keep y'all updated on the rapper Mo3 who was gunned down last year and they are still trying to, you know, investigate the case and catch the murderer. Also, I want to let you guys know um, that I apologize for not uploading yesterday. I was really busy. I had family actually coming in town. And y'all will not believe this, but I just got my air fixed uh, two weeks ago. And then I had to turn around, okay, after I got my air fixed. And then two weeks later, it's registered and I got the air on 70. And it's back to, and it's registering 80 degrees in my house. So, I'm dealing with that. So, <laughs> um, and at the same time, you know, I'm at work. So, I'm trying to, you know, just make all these arrangements to get, you know, the airman come back so he can see what else is going on with the air. But anyway, so, that's just a little bit of what's going on with your girl. Other than that, everything is good. I'm blessed. You know, I'm blessed. So, at the end of the day, I am sorry I did not upload yesterday. But also, I want to let y'all know, y'all have some crazy videos on the way. So make sure you have your notification bell on that you are subscribed. Because there's a lot of uh, updates coming with babies that has been murdered recently. And you just don't want to miss it. And you will not believe how many children are being killed or how many people that are being slain like they're just rabid dogs out here and it's just unbelievable it's so much going on so like i said thank y'all for watching and i'm going to bring you all the updates that i can and let you know the recent things that's going on and i'm gonna bring it to you every chance i get so i love y'all well, let's go ahead and get into rapper mode three so for those, I'm going to give y'all a brief, real brief introduction of who he is. For those who don't know or are new to the case, I'm going to give y'all a brief introduction. But really, I'm here to give you an update of what you guys already know. All right. So he was shot and killed on Wednesday, the Wednesday of, um, let me get the date correct, the November 12th, 2020. So that Wednesday of November 12, 2020, he was shot and killed uh, midday on a Dallas highway. The 28-year-old rapper, real name was Melvin Noble, was killed in the brazen attack at approximately 12 p.m. on the city's northbound Interstate 35, according to the Dallas Police Department. Police tell us that the shooting was suspect described as an adult black male exited his stopped dark sedan armed with a firearm and approached Mode 3, who exited his stationary car and began running southbound on the highway. The suspect chased Mo3, firing multiple shots and striking him. The rapper was transported to an area hospital where he died from his injuries, according to the police report. Okay, so this is the quick overall of what happened to Mo3, and this is his photo right here. Now, let's get into the two week update and the one month update now this is the one month update for the second man charged in the murder of dallas rapper mo3 on i-35e arrested accused of gunning down rapper mo3 on a dallas highway 28 year old devin brown was indicted on a murder charge this week another man 22 year old kwan wright was also indicted on the same charge earlier this year Back in November, Melvin Noble, also known as Mo3, was driving on 35E near the Dallas Zoo when White approached him with a gun. Police say Noble ran down the highway trying to escape and was chased by White, who fired multiple times, hitting Noble. So Dallas First, police hope you might be able to recognize the man who shot and killed rapper Mo3. I want you to come over to your screen and look at this. They released these photos. The images are pretty clear, but as you see, the suspect is wearing a ski mask. So identifying him is going to be pretty tough. Detectives think he may be driving a 2014 or 2015 black Chevy Camaro. It was 10 days ago that the 28-year-old rapper was gunned down in broad daylight on I-35 near the Dallas Zoo. The suspect took off in the car north, going north 
north on the interstate. So police are currently investigating the events that led up to that shooting. Please, though, call them if you have any information. What's up, Dot, y'all? This is your girl, Queen Toss Crime, and I am back with another video, okay? Um, real quick, y'all seen both of the clips that I've shown y'all um, with uh, both of the suspects that killed Mo3 um, that he was actually charged um, and they are in jail um, as we speak. I know a lot of people love Mo3. A lot of people loved his music. A lot of people respect him for a rapper. Okay, so let me just go ahead and say that. Secondly and third, who is out here gunning down people in broad daylight with everybody having video, phones, cameras? If every block there is a camera, every block there is a camera. So who is out here really? gunning people down like make that make sense to your girl because I, I just don't get it but obviously these two dodo birds decided hey we're gonna gun down mo3 in broad daylight we probably gonna get caught because we right here on the interstate with all these witnesses and cameras on the interstate that can see me and people with video phones so Eventually, they want to be caught if you was going to do something in broad daylight and hop out of the vehicle that could, that's probably, possibly registered to you for them to search you. They can look you up just by your registration. And whatever car you're driving, it could be a family car. It's going to come back to your family and you. So I just, I just don't understand the thought process of some of these people that do these murders like that's not smart if you're going to commit a murder at least be smart and i'm not encouraging that's not me encouraging anybody to kill anybody no please don't go out here killing people but if you're going to be a murderer at least be a smart murderer because that just i mean you was going to be caught either way it go you was going to be caught okay so I just want to bring you those updates from like um those the updates that I saw um that was from a couple of weeks ago so I wanted to bring you that um on his murder on his crime let y'all know that they actually were still actually actively working on that case in that investigation so that's a good thing um that they pretty much is pretty much wrapped up now you know he's 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 well liked and he was basically a legend to a lot of people so not only was he a legend to a lot of people but a lot of people that mourn him are still mourning him there are people that still listen to his music to this day so you have idiots like this that 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 do things like this but guess what after you didn't kill this man and gunned him down where every the whole world can see you got you on videotape got you on camera guess what now you're going to spend the remainder of your life behind bars is it worth it all these people out here like i brought up in the beginning of this video that's out here murdering and killing these kids these babies that are some are even related to the child like nobody's going to know guess where you're going to spend the rest of your life at in prison especially if you like to be free and go where you want to go and do what you want to do you're not going to be able to why because you're going to be in prison in prison where you belong now with that being said they still do it and they think they're gonna get away you're never gonna get away with no murder especially how it's going everybody i mean they track your whereabouts these days everything you do is being traced everything you do is being traced so like i said if you're going to be out here doing some grimy things, especially to some children, take them to the nearest firehouse, the nearest hospital, um, the nearest school. Take and drop the child off. Stop murdering these babies. 
Stop killing and severely uh, abandoning, neglecting. Stop. Because these kids, they don't ask to be here. Y'all bring these kids here. They don't ask to be here. So at the end of the day, stop killing our kids. Just, just stop. But I'm going to continue to bring you cases because they're going to continue to do it and they're still doing it. So I have a lot of updates to bring you guys. So I'll be back tomorrow with more updates of, unfortunately, more dead children. A lot of tragedy. But thank y'all for staying tuned because we are still going to fight for the people that cannot fight for themselves. Like I said, y'all, we're going to continue to do that. And we're going to continue to bring you updates to keep you caught up with what's going on out here in these streets. Because a lot is going on out here. There's a lot of crime going on. And I'm going to keep you caught up with all the crime that's happening out here in these streets. But thank you guys for watching. Um, Keep Mo3's family in your prayers. Because, you know, if you have never lost a loved one, the first couple of months or years is just not enough time to mourn. People need a long time to mourn. So I'm sure people are still mourning Mo3. There's people out here that are, were fans of his are still mourning Mo3. So imagine his family. They're still mourning him. So at the end of the day, keep the family in your prayers. And any more updates come up with this case, I will be posting on my channel. Thank you once again for watching. And your girl, Queen Toss Crime is out. Peace.